case. Uh, guys, this resulted in a mistrial. There were three defendants that were accused of a hit for hire plot. Um, and essentially, she went to trial with a co defendant. That co defendant was convicted. There was a hung jury with respect to her case, and prosecutors are going to retry her again. Defense was in court on a motion to have her released on bond, saying that we're not going to have a trial probably until July. The next hearing's not scheduled until March. A jury couldn't come to a conclusion that she was guilty, and the judge denied that bond. Of course, they bring in the COVID-19 because that is a problem and often cited in bond cases now. Holly, give us your brief review of the case, what you thought about what happened at trial, and did the defense make a good argument that she should be released on bond and was not a risk for flight? Um, first, I'll start with the summary of the case. So this started with, unfortunately, a custody matter. So this FSU law professor was um, was shot down, uh, potentially and allegedly in a murder for hire plot um, from uh, the family of his ex-wife, and they were in the middle of a custody battle. So the person who is in jail, who was convicted by the jury, was the shooter. And the question now is whether or not the person that was coordinating, allegedly, this murder through phone calls and was in contact with the brother of the ex-wife of the victim, um, whether or not she is going to be in trouble and found guilty. And so I think that this is very, very similar if we, if our viewers were watching the Erica Stefanko murder trial uh, last week and the two weeks before that, then we'll find that there is evidence that if presented properly to the jury, if presented properly to the jury, a person who is encouraging and coordinating the murder can also be okay. as guilty as the shooter. So okay. I think that this case should be tried. I definitely think it should be tried again. And I think that um, it makes sense that, that Bond was denied, especially in light of these pandemic times. Jamie, what are your thoughts about the Bond hearing and whether the judge made the correct ruling? I think the judge definitely made the correct ruling, Bob. You know, we see these um, murder cases play out in all sorts of different scenarios. But when we have a premeditated act that involves the planning of killing someone, you know, to me, it suggests that, you know, this person is not safe to be in the community okay. because when it comes to bond, you know, we don't okay. only look at the risk of flight, you know, we also look at the risk to the community. And the I really can't to think- the community. I, I agree, Jamie. Listen, I'm sorry I have to cut you off, guys, because we're at the end of the show. I will be back next week. These guests were awesome. Please stay tuned here at the Law Crime Network for our regularly scheduled program, and you have a great weekend. Be safe.